Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Are you guys ready to read Clifford's first Halloween? Give me two thumbs up if you are. <laughs> All right, here we go. So first, a big thank you to Norman Bridwell for this Clifford book. And you guys ready to see who our mystery surprise guest is? Let's check it out. It's a trick-or-treat bag with Emily Elizabeth in it. Hi, Emily Elizabeth. Are you ready to read about Clifford's first Halloween? She was there, so she already knows the story, but I'm sure she'll enjoy reading with us. All right, here we go. Trick or treat, I'm Emily Elizabeth, the cat, and the big red clown is my dog Clifford. Clifford was not always this big. Many Halloweens ago, he was just a tiny red puppy. Look how little he is. Oh, he's so cute. I wanted to take Clifford out trick-or-treating, but the mask and hat didn't fit. He was not a happy clown. I tried dressing him as an angel. Oh my goodness, look what she used for the halo. She used a box of donuts. That's the yummiest halo I've ever seen. Oh, I guess Clifford thought the same thing. While I was putting my fairy costume on, he ate his halo. Oh no. Then I found the perfect costume for my small red puppy. What do you think it is, guys? She's using tissues, a box of tissues and scissors. Let's see. Clifford was the littlest ghost I had ever seen. Oh, he's so cute. That was an easy costume. My neighbors were nice. We both got lots of good treats. <laughs> he got bones and Emily Elizabeth got candy. When we got home, Daddy was carving a pumpkin for our Halloween party. Ooh, the pumpkin looks a little crabby, a little grumpy. Clifford was a nosy little puppy. He was very curious. He wants to see what's going on in that pumpkin. Whoop! Uh-oh, he fell in the pumpkin. Oh, no. Now we had a jack-o'-lantern that barked and stuck out its tongue. Oh, look, he's making Emily Elizabeth laugh so hard. That's cute. I showed Clifford my Halloween noisemaker. Beep! Oh no, she knocked Clifford over. He was surprised. Oops, sorry, the book's falling. Then it was time for the party. All my friends came. Mommy made us candy apples. Have you guys ever had a candy apple before? They're yummy. Clifford wondered how they tasted. The candy was sort of sticky. Candy apples are very sticky. <laughs> Sometimes a little tricky to eat. I had to give Clifford a quick bath. Oh, look what she's using to bathe him, a toothbrush. Oh my goodness, he's so little. It was time to go into the haunted house. Our jack-o'-lantern looked very spooky. Oh, it sure does. It's like a grumpy spooky. Clifford followed me into the haunted house. Does that look scary to you guys? Looks scary to me. But he didn't like it very much. Oh no, the skeleton startled him. And the spider's making him run. Then mommy dimmed the lights and told a scary story about a haunted hand that crept around the house. Oh my goodness! Is my hand gonna flip this page? Ah! 
<laughs> I'm just teasing guys, look. It's a little fake hand, but I thought it was perfect for this story. So let's put our hand right there. <laughs> How's that? Okay, suddenly we all saw a giant hand wriggling on the wall. We were scared. What was it? Oh, what was it? Oh my goodness, it was Clifford. The hand came closer and closer. <laughs> I think he got stuck in a glove. We laughed when we saw that it was only Clifford. Just Clifford. It was a great party. It looks like a great party. Halloween is so much fun. Clifford is grown up now, but he still makes Halloween a special day for everyone. Aww. And Emily Elizabeth looks great as a little kitty cat. Clifford looks awesome as a clown with his little skeleton and the friend. That was a great book. Thank you so much, Emily Elizabeth, for reading with us and our very scary, creepy, not so creepy hand. Thank you. High five. All right, guys, I hope you liked that book. Comment down below and tell me what you're going to be for Halloween. And you can tell me what you were for your very first Halloween. I don't know what I was for my first Halloween. I'm going to have to ask my mom. But, all right, thank you guys so much. Come back and read soon. Bye.